I have a lot of things to do right now. At this point, I'm just so over it. Hello you guys, what is up? Welcome to another vlog. It is currently 11.20 and I'm just about to head to the mall. This is my fit of the day. This is from Shein. These are from H&M and this purse is also from Shein. So the reason why I'm going to the mall today is because it's my best friend Julia's birthday on Saturday. Therefore, I need to get her a gift. So I'm gonna go look around at the mall. I don't really know what I wanna get her yet. So that's why we're going. We're just gonna browse around and have a good time. And then I'm gonna come back home and probably I need to work today afterwards but I will bring you guys along with me for the day. It's really awkward weather right now. Like it looks like it would be cold outside because it's cloudy, but it's actually pretty warm. It's like 18 degrees or something, which is kind of warm for here, I guess. Also, I keep like losing my keys because they don't have a lanyard attached to them. So I need to get something for these or else I'm gonna keep losing them. Did you guys see Apple came out with like air tags? They're like tiles. You can put them on like your devices and then you can track them, which is really cool. So I feel like I need that for like everything because I always misplace things. Okay, we're about to leave the house and I realized I did not have any caffeine today. I didn't have a coffee, I didn't have a matcha, and now I'm kind of sad because I completely forgot to make one. I should have just made one to take. I guess I can still do it. Should I stop at Starbucks? Honestly, Tim's is a good option. Honestly, okay. The thing is, is at Starbucks, you're paying six bucks, like Canadian here. It's like over $6. It's like six fifty-seven for like one coffee, like a grande, like not even the biggest size. And at Tim's, you're paying like $2. So obviously Starbucks is so much better, like so much better but tim hortons is like two dollars so it's like come on but i do want to say if starbucks is something that makes you like genuinely so happy then go get your starbucks the thing is it's the small things in life that bring you joy you know what i mean starbucks it's like it wouldn't make my mood any happier so it's like not worth it to me a coffee is a coffee like whatever but if it makes you genuinely happy to get a starbucks or an expensive drink then do it because no price is worth your happiness i'm personally just trying to save my money right now so that when these restrictions lift i can travel so i'm just saving up for that right now i'm so eager to go but i feel like once the restrictions do lift it's gonna be like everyone's gonna start freaking out and like i feel like everything is gonna get booked so i'm so tempted to book somewhere right now even though there's strict restrictions haven't lifted yet like i'm just so tempted it's probably not the smartest idea but at this point i'm just so over it hi can i please get a medium caramel iced coffee with almond milk please have almond milk right now i have soy or regular milk okay i'll try soy then thank you i don't think i've tried soy milk in my entire life so this is going to be very interesting it should be good rice milk is actually really good i feel like there's so many different types of milk that no one knows about but he's bought rice milk before and it's actually really good i don't even know how rice milk can be a thing but also cashew milk homemade cashew milk is really good thank you so much all right i'm excited to try this I'm really excited. Let's park right here actually. Let's try this bitch. I really like how Tim Hortons and stuff, they all switch to paper straws. So much more environmentally friendly. Oh wow, it's good. It's really good. I do prefer almond milk and obviously oat milk is like my favorite. This is not bad. It's fun to try new things. Okay, so I'm just gonna drive to the mall right now and I guess I'll see you guys there. Okay, we just got to the mall and I completely forgot to show you guys um, in my last video, I self-tanned and then I'm like, I'll show you guys my next video. So I'm gonna show you guys. Basically, I did a pretty good job. Like I'm kind of impressed. I just like did the top half of my body. It's not really that noticeable of a difference because I only did it once and I didn't really lather it that much. I just kind of did like one thin coat, but I do notice it. And honestly, on my hands, I did it pretty even. So it's not that bad at all. I mean, there is some spots like on my wrist here that you can see is like a little spotty, but that's about it. So I'm kind of impressed and I feel like I kind of want to do more often because like just having a little bit of oomph to my skin, it just feels so much glowier, you know? But yeah, so we're going to go in. Um, are we going to bring the camera in? Yeah, we just hate leaving the camera in the car because it is a very expensive camera. Therefore, we do not trust it. So I may or may not see you guys in the mall, but <laughs> also. <laughs> it's absolutely so. Also, you know what I realized with Tim Hortons coffee is that like the more sips you take, the, the worse it gets. Like it gets like so watered down and so non-flavorful. The first like three sips is like really good. And then after that, it's like downhill from there. But Starbucks is like keeps the flavor throughout. Okay, let's go in. Okay, so we're currently in H&M and Julia like really likes these sweatpants that I have. And I know she said she wanted more sweatpants, but 
I just checked and they're all out of extra small like I think they sold out like a bit ago because they were like really popular but I did get her a little set from garage so I'll show you guys when I get home but it's so cute so I think that'll just have to do hello you guys so we are back home I will show you what I got her when I go upstairs but right now I'm really hungry so I'm gonna cook up some vegan hot dogs and I had these a few few days ago and they're so good like you wouldn't even be able to tell they're vegan if you didn't know and once you like open the package it smells like a real hot dogs like i'm not even joking you they're really good so i'm gonna cook these up and i need to change my battery out because it's about to die and have a little bit of a lunch and i think i'm gonna make a matcha because that tim horns coffee just really didn't do it for me so <laughs> Literally, I'm not even joking you when we were at the mall I had my purse around my shoulder and then it just fell and I was like what the hell and because the strap Literally ripped off like it was not even that heavy at all It was around my shoulder and it just like fell and y'all got off of there. I'm gonna try and sew it back I mean, it's just, obviously the seams just ripped. They were obviously like super weak So I got to sew this back <laughs> Because I really like this purse. It was just kind of funny how it literally just snapped off and then I had to put my purse in like the the shopping bag that I bought because like I couldn't hold it. I was like cradling it like walking around like this. <laughs> Just make some hot dogs. Does anyone else eat their mangoes like this and then you pop it out and then I don't know how anyone eats mangoes a different way. Wow, that is a good mango. Oh my God. Mangoes are probably like one of my favorite fruits. And when you get that ripe, perfect mango, oh my gosh, it's so sweet and so good. Also tip of the day, if you're gonna eat fruit, apparently it's better if you eat it before your meal because if you eat it after, then it's gonna be sitting on top of like all the food that you ate. So it's gonna be like rotten because it won't be able to digest as fast. So yeah, that's what I heard. I don't know if it's like true, don't quote me on it, but so good. Yum. And don't they look like real hot dogs? Like, you can't tell me that this looks like a real hot dog. Wow, I really did that fitting perfectly. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys what I got Julia. So, I got her this matching set. The material is so fuzzy, like I can't even explain it. So I got this top and I got her this bottom. So, oh my God, okay, I can't even get over how cute this is. And she has a surgery coming up soon. So she's gonna be spending a lot of time in bed and in loungewear. So I thought that this would make her feel cute, you know, while she's recovering. I can't even explain to you the fuzziness. Like I just, I just can't. Like it's so freaking soft and so cute. And I think she's gonna love it. So. Yeah, that's what I got her. And I'm also gonna like get her drinks and like little side stuff, but this is the main thing. Okay, so I just made myself a matcha latte, put it in a Starbucks cup. I don't like throwing them out like when I go to Starbucks. I like keeping them because they kind of make for like a cute cup and it tricks your brain into thinking that you're actually drinking Starbucks. So cheers to that. Getting a little bit of energy in for this work session I'm about to do. I have a lot of things to do right now. I was sitting on the couch editing my YouTube video just now. I realized that I needed to do some work work. And honestly, when I'm sitting on the couch, it's just puts me in more of a relaxed state and it makes me fall asleep. So when I need to get actual work done, it's like coming to the table just makes me so much more productive because it's like I'm upright, can't really fall asleep that way. It makes me feel more in like an office space, you know what I mean? So it tricks my brain into thinking like, okay, we're actually doing something here, we're working. But when I edit my YouTube videos, it is kind of a different vibe because if I sit on the couch, it's like more chill. But when I'm working, I like to make sure that like I am doing it as efficient as possible and not falling asleep, not getting distracted. So I'm gonna make a little list of what I need to get done right now. So if you guys didn't know, I am a video editor. Um, I used to do video filming as well, but right now I just moved everything just to video editing to make things easier and open up my schedule so I can do more YouTube. So my main job right now is I work for a company called Oasis and I do their IGTV videos on their Instagram. So I do like all their campaign videos and all of that. So they just sent me their monthly PowerPoint for the month of May. So I need to get a whole bunch of videos, videos done for that. So I need to grind right now. Honestly, working from home is like the biggest blessing, but at the same time, it's like you really gotta be self-determined and self-motivated and you really need to make a schedule for yourself or else you're gonna procrastinate to the point where you don't get things done. Cause a normal job is like you go in and then you get your shift done, you can come back home. It's like you have time slots where you need to go in, but working from home is like you make your own schedule. So you really gotta make sure that you're getting things done, <laughs> which can be really hard to be honest, but as long as you plan things out, then it, it it, it, it's fine, but you just gotta have that self-determination to get things done. Okay, I'm gonna write on this cute list thingy. What do I need to do? Okay, Wednesday. So I need to work on Oasis 
videos. What else I need to do? I was going to film a video today, like aside from this vlog, I was gonna film a sit down video today, but to be honest, I'm just like not in the mood to do it. So I'm gonna do it tomorrow. And I don't wanna force myself to do it if it doesn't need to be done today because the video would turn out so much better if I'm in like the right headspace to do it. So I'm gonna do that sit down video tomorrow. I need to respond to some emails. Being a small YouTuber, I do get like brands emailing me asking if they wanna do like a collaboration. And honestly, sometimes it's really hard to tell if the brand is legit because there's a lot of like scammers out there so it always like makes me a little hesitant and scared when I reply to a brand that I've never heard of before so making sure they're legit is like kind of scary because I don't have anyone else like that can assure me that they're legit but yeah it's like I get so many like fake brand emails but they're just fake Sometimes it's easy to tell because Google will flag the email and they'll be like, yo, this person is sketchy. But sometimes it's like not that easy to tell because they'll look completely normal and they want something out of you, but it could be scary. What else do I have to do today? You know what? I'm going to try and finish editing my first video that's going to go up next week. So I can just have that one done and uploaded. And yeah, okay, that is what I'm going to do today. So let's get to work. I think for this work session, I'm going to put away my phone because I really want to be productive right now. So I think I'm just going to put like a timer on my phone for an hour and I'm just going to do as much work as possible as I can get done in this hour and then allow myself to go on my phone in between. But it does, working from home, it does help putting your phone away um, because when you're at home, everything is a distraction, especially when you don't have a designated office space, like everything is a distraction. So it really helps to put away your phone and just zone in. Okay, let's get some shit done. I'm gonna put a timer on my phone. Okay, we're gonna work in hour intervals. So let's get to work. I'm gonna put my phone, I'm gonna hide my phone. I'm setting the intention that this is gonna be a productive work session. Okay, so I just did like that hour and now I need to take some product shots. I usually don't have to like film anything, but for this specific video, I just needed extra clips. So I was like, well, I have the products. So I might as well just do it instead of waiting for them to get refilmed. So I'm just going to do that real quick and I'll show you guys a little montage of what I'm going to do. Okay, so I'm going to put this guy on here and like spin it around and we got like the white background. Um, I'm filming literally on my phone. The phone has, this is the iPhone 12 Pro Max, literally the best quality you'll ever get. Like it's so good. So that's what we're gonna do. Mm, yeah, 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 I'm here to do damage. Never back down to the face of a challenge. Can't feel- Okay, back to work. Like Okay, we just had dinner and I saw this recipe on TikTok of like these dessert cookie dough ball things. And it's basically like three ingredients, so they're super easy to make. So I'm gonna make them right now. It's just almond flour, maple syrup, and almond butter, but I'm just gonna use peanut butter because that's like all that I have. Yeah, they look really good. So I'm so excited to try them. So let's make them. I always like crave something sweet after I eat dinner. Like I always need something sweet. Three fourth cup of almond butter. Okay, so I messed up. It was actually three fourth cup of almond flour and one third cup of almond butter. And I put in three fourth cup of almond butter. So <laughs> I need to take out the excess, measure the right amount. Good thing I double checked. Okay, this is what it looks like. And I tasted it. It's so good. So now I'm just going to add dairy-free chocolate chips. Okay, here's the final mixture. Now I'm going to roll it into balls, I guess. So good. I'm going to wash my hands.
Okay, so now what the video says to do is to put them in the freezer and freeze them and then roll them in chocolate. But I don't know if I'm gonna end up rolling them in chocolate because I kind of want to eat them tonight. So I think I'm just gonna plop them in the freezer and then eat them as, as they are because they already have like chocolate chips inside. So I put a lot, so I feel like they're gonna be chocolatey enough. But yeah, I tasted like the batter, so good. But I'll update you guys after they're done freezing, which will probably be only like an hour or so. Yeah, it's, oh my God, it's already eight o'clock. I didn't even realize. Okay, anyways, I'm still gonna want to eat them in an hour or so. Never back down to the face of a challenge Can't fill a whole room, my talents Like, oh, oh, I'll do 